Hello again guys, Total Reactions here, and today I'm going to react to some of Once Upon a Time. I'm going to react to Season 4, Episode 21. The episode before the Season 4 finale. Yeah, let's not talk about what happened at the end of the last episode. Oh my god, I'm still... Uh, let's get into it. She's pregnant. Yeah, congratulations by the way, Zelina. These are part of the royal lands. And I don't recall giving you permission to marry here. We didn't know. We had just... <laughs> Majesty. Overreacting. He overreacted a little bit. because of what day it is. To alienate them would be short-sighted and weak. I'm not weak! I was going to spare you. But someone just made me angry. <laughs> Good job, Henry. I'm kind of glad that he's not entirely forgotten about. Mother. It's been too long. So you moved on with her. That's not fair. You understood. You agreed. Understanding it and seeing it are different. Yeah. That's hardly the most important point here. My son. Roland's not going to understand where his mother's gone. Oh, yeah. To lose her again. A forgetting potion. Just take him back to before the fake Marion showed up. He'll lose time, but it's better, right? Yes. This was all about me. For her, this was all about making sure I'd never get my happy ending. If by happy ending you mean us, then at least in a way that's possible again. Yeah, but... Look, it's messy, I know, but... It belonged to your... His name was Neil. He was a lot of things to me. Now oh, he's just gone, thanks to her. Sorry? <gasps> I think I just felt a kick. Uh, you wouldn't want to rattle an expectant mother now, would you? But like she's not pregnant Do forever. You? What happens once the baby's out, this out of there? I hate this place. I would feck her up immediately after Are that. Are you sure you want to... Emma's in charge of happy endings around here. The ink has to contain her blood. It has to be governed by her dark impulses. No dark savior, no ink. <clears throat> ah, you okay? okay. Uh, but like the author, the author idea. said it's a, it's a job, but it's not a and like an evil job. So why do they need Emma's blood filled with dark potential? Okay, they were like, oh, the author can't give the villains their happy endings because... Ooh. Ooh. Because Emma was the one to get them to them, but... I, wow, she looks amazing. I don't entirely get it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay. The first time I feel kind of sorry for them. Maleficent, this is Lily. This is your daughter. I understand now why you had to send me away. Without me, you've become your own person, and, and I'm very proud of you. What do you want, Mother? To help you. You've got beauty and strength, power. I just want to help you get that final piece. Love. I had that piece. I made a terrible mistake. You see, I was fine with a loveless marriage. I thought you'd be the same. And now I realize that you feel things more deeply than I do. You met Tinkerbell. Indeed. She told me, Regina. I would like to meet her again, by the way. There is someone out there for you. Just saying. Someone you're fated to be with. And I'm here to find him. <gasps> oh, look. Home. The mm. Dank, isn't it? Fair. I'm glad I thought of it. Let her rot in and there. And right upstairs, our OB, Dr. Well, gives the finest care this side of the fictional Alps. You want to start talking truth? Tell me, why are you so confident? Tell me, what's going to make you feel safe at night once that baby's born? The fact that if you kill me, Robin will always know that you murdered the mother of his child. You underestimate me, Zelina. She doesn't have to murder you. Enjoy your new home. 
give birth to the child and then rot in there for for the rest of your life. I have to admit, it feels kind of good to seem like this. A little bit suffering. I'm sorry, but... You said it would kill your ability to love. You didn't say that... The Dark One can't die. Not like that. No. But Rumpelstiltskin can. You don't want to face the Dark One when there's no one else at home, so I suggest... <laughs> You don't antagonize me. Oh, okay. Oh, but it doesn't really matter. That's the dangerous part. By definition, when I get my happy ending, you look like you're up for some serious collaboration. <laughs> Thank you. I'll figure out the ink on my own. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, dearie. <laughs> oh my god, that's the, what that was the most embarrassing thing I ever like. She just she hoings it out of his hand. <laughs> Amazing. Sounds like you're talking about Robin Hood. Tell me more, Sheriff. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want him, darling. He is a sanctimonious blowhard who thinks he's better than all the other thieving bastards because he steals from the rich to give to the poor and won't shut up about it. <laughs> it's insufferable. And of all the characters I've written for, you really do get screwed over the most. I'm well aware. Yeah. By the way, I, I was only working with Rumpelstiltskin because he was able to protect me. So, you can trust me. And you can no. really do as you say. I wrote this. I mean, the story with this drawing in it from my... Well, a, a, a little experimental writing I did for another book that I never got the chance to write. Where did you get this? So how are we going to get revenge on Snow White and Prince Charming? Now okay. that I see you, I don't want to waste our time on revenge. We can be happy in the future, or we can be angry about the past. Let's do both. I did everything I could. But all I want to do now is enjoy our time together. Interesting. You cast second curse. Can you... Is there a way for you to seal the borders the way Regina did? I don't know how to do what you want. Acting a lot like Emma did when she first came here. She had these... Her walls were always up. She was afraid that if she opened herself up to me, I would let her down like everyone else had. And ultimately I did. Mother. Come. Jesus Christ, she looks amazing. Oh my God. <sighs> oh, come on, what the hell? Your Majesty. Since I know Korra can't do anything right. Now you let me be the strong one. So that you can be weak when you want to be. Weak? Well, feminine. Oh! <laughs> Bro. What are you doing? That's not a real tattoo. That's magic. Who put that on there? Stop it. Was it mother? To all the yes, women out there, I have no idea why that was so to funny to me, but... You do have some darkness in you, don't you? Thing is, a lot of that darkness, it actually belongs to Emma. It's exactly what I need. Cut to the chase. Hey, stop! <laughs> You're out of your mind! Okay. Welcome to Story, bro. <laughs> okay. I was talking about your parents. I talked about this. I talked, you walked away. I just want to know, is anything going to be enough? Or are you willing to lose them just to spite them? Do you like the run? They've done a lot of good. Turned themselves into heroes. Yes. I know they didn't own up to what they did. But did you ever think maybe they were ashamed? And they wanted you to like them. He's good. She's out of control! No! Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Hard. Maleficent's like, bye. I'm not 
not ever going to stop trying to protect you. Not ever. I don't care what you do or say. I know. I need to stop punishing you. You do? <laughs> it doesn't change the good person you became, and it doesn't change what you are. But just what? My mom. I was going to give you something earlier. This was supposed to be yours, but I never got a chance to give it to you. I thought that you'd be this scary dragon bitch and we'd go get our revenge, you know, blasting all those who did us wrong. You're just this real person. Freaking open, it kills me. Why does that kill you? I don't understand, please tell me. Because you want a relationship. And anyone who's ever wanted that with me, I just, it's never worked out. I destroy everything that I touch. Why don't you stay for a week? And I can teach you about being a scary dragon bitch. Our author here is going to write you out of the story. You'd never take away Robin's baby. It'll be as though you never existed. Um. Wait, can he do that? Just change all of your memories? That's not very creative, and Absolutely. it's not right. The pen is mightier than the, well, everything. To me, it's still murder. And unless you start building a dynasty, she'll take back the kingdom and you'll lose it all. And when I die of a mysterious illness, you're the power behind the child-sized throne, right? But you're not pregnant. And now I never will be. I won't be a baby mill for you, mother. You think it'll make you strong to hurt yourself? Oh, it does if it hurts you more. If I wanted to take your power, I'd find a much more direct way. Now, please take one last piece of motherly advice. Maybe. I hope you learn what it's taken me a lifetime to realize about myself. The only one standing in the way of your happiness is you. What do you want me to do? Nothing. You didn't know our mother, Selena, but I did. She hurt you and she hurt me too. Robin isn't my happy ending. My happy ending is finally failing at home in the world. Robin's just a part of that world. A world that you're going to be forced to watch from a distance. With the most restrictive visitation rights in history. Right on what? It's time villains finally win. Ooh. I'm intrigued. So that was Once Upon a Time, season four, episode twenty-one. And first of all, guys, I'm so sorry. Like, um, with this camera, I don't know why why this is happening. Like, I'm filming with my smartphone. It's connected to my laptop, so I have no idea what the problem is. But sometimes, uh, it's just. It doesn't it's not working from the beginning and then i'm like okay you know what fix this and then i'm done with reacting for that day it's it's a matter of luck i i don't get it i don't know what the problem is but it's annoying me so damn much and i guess you guys don't like it either so i'm i'm very sorry that's all i can say but i i didn't i didn't want to stop after like uh 10 seconds again and like and, uh, okay then there's no once upon a time today i guess no i wanted to watch once upon a time so i did but uh, it wasn't uh, i think it it could have been worse so okay yeah let's talk about the episode i would say um first i was asking i i think season three i don't exactly i'm not sure but i asked myself and i think i asked I asked that question. Why did Regina adopt Henry when she had like a sex slave? She could have used Graham. Like it would have made everything way worse, but I didn't get it. But now I got my answer. Regina is not able to conceive a child because she gave me like, I, I think the ultimate example of standing in the way of their own happiness. Wow. 
And yeah, it kind of made me laugh when uh, Zelina was like, uh, yeah, I have something with, with Robin we've always wanted, a child. And I was like, <laughs> of course. They've never talked about this. Like, Robin has a child, Regina has a child. So what the f girl? This woman is deranged in a way. Blinded by envy or whatever. I don't know. But wow. Yeah, um, Lily being a dragon, like in the intro when the dragon was f coming at me. Instantly, I, I, I thought, hey, it's Lily. And then I was like, um, wait, is Lily even, is, is she even? But I was like, yeah, of course she is. Like, she was born in, or like she hatched out of an egg, so, out of a dragon egg. So it makes sense that she's a, also a dragon. I wasn't surprised at all. But green eyes, I thought... Uh, yellow. It was yellow. Yellow eyes. I thought yellow means werewolf, but it maybe it just means supernatural. Yeah, the scenes between Lily and Maleficent, they were they were very very sweet, like it. But I kind of think we're done. It kind of felt like like an ending. Lily is staying for a week now. It's going to stay for a week, and after that. I hope I get to, uh, I, uh, yeah, I want to know if she's uh, about to leave after uh, these uh, seven days or not. <laughs> but it felt like a goodbye and now we are, um, I don't know if you can say in a apocalypse mode, I don't think so, but no, it's not an apocalypse mode, but um, it's like the, every hero loses their happy endings mode, but that's bad enough, that's bad enough, I think. So, I, don't, I think we have to concentrate uh, on something else than these two. Um, yeah, Snow and Emma and uh, and Charming. Like, the scene when Emma was like, I forgive you, it was, it was cute, I liked it, but it felt like she was only talking to Snow. And she was not the only one to fake everything up. Like, I think she forgave both of them, yes, but... It was just a mother-daughter moment, like the father standing right next to them, but hmm. yeah, I would have liked it more if it was like a moment between these two, uh, these three and not just Snow and Emma, but it was cute and I'm glad that we're over that. We're good now, again, and because of Hook, because of Killian. Wow, he opened her eyes. Didn't actually know that he was able to do that, like to be that intuitive. I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I was surprised. Good. I like it. Yeah. So now I'm curious about the season finale. What? What does it look like? What's going to happen now? I mean, I I, I think the author just needs uh, first needs like two or three weeks to write down the story of every single character or what what does he have to write the story of every 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 single one now rewrite to rewrite the story of every single one or is he just about to only to change rumple because he's not working together with maleficent anymore regina kind of <laughs> The way she just took the pen out of his hand. That was amazing. And yeah, I think he's not very interested in giving her a happy ending right now. So there's no one he's like working together with anymore. Maybe he's the only one to change. But their original plan was to get their happy endings and to ruin the hero's happy ending. So I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll see what. No need in. Uh, thinking about this too much i guess i'm about to i'm about to see so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed once again i'm very sorry for the lagging of my camera yeah and i hope to see you in the season finale of season four of once upon a time until then goodbye guys